Hi everybody, it's Mr. Bear down here in the Desert Scrub in South Texas. I'm going to show you some of the equipment I have and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the desert. Um, I am carrying this knife with me. This is a uh, to skin animals with if I need to or to protect myself if I need to or anything else I might need it for. I also have a, this one's really for protection. This is a throwing knife. It's about a foot long and uh, you can throw that an animal. It's very heavy. It's made out of solid steel. I also have a, a machete in my backpack for cutting through the brush and then here is the bow that I'm using and I'm riding around on this uh, ATV. So, and I also have on these snake chaps that keeps rattlesnakes from being able to bite me. They can't bite through this and it also helps with the brush. Okay, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the desert scrub down here. You would think in the desert nothing would be able to live because it's dry and there's not very many trees and there's not much there. But when you actually go to walk through this stuff, you can see that there is a lot of cover for animals to hide in. There are actually more animals here than there are back in Indiana. Look how thick that is. And every single thing here has some kind of stickers on it. And it pokes you and scratches you, so you got to be real careful. But uh, animals can hide all over the place here. I've already seen about 50 javelina, one wild boar, one badger, four bobcats, about 20 deer, and about 10 or 15 rabbits and a couple caracaras, which they call Mexican eagles. So I've already seen all that stuff. I actually missed a wild boar last night from that place that I showed you in the other video. Uh, it was in the dark and it moved right when I shot. And it's very cold down here. It is not like the desert typically is. But I'll show you some more about the plants. Here's a uh, prickly pear cactus. It's one of the most common plants that you see down here. And these little needles will go through anything. They go right through my snake chaps and they work their way into your skin. They're very, very sharp, and the javelina eat these. This is their favorite food source. There's a lot of nutrients and a lot of moisture in these prickly pears, and uh, they're, they're edible, and I'll tell you more about prickly pears later on, but this is one of the most common plants, and there are lots of other types of cacti and other things with stickers, but everything down here either bites you or stings you or sticks you, so that part's unpleasant, but yeah, it's beautiful and peaceful. There's no sound of any cars, any planes, anything. It's really remote out here, and it's really thick. It'd be easy to get lost, too, because you can't see. There's nothing over about 20 feet tall. All the trees are real short, but it's so thick you just can't see through them. So I'll make another video later and tell you a little bit more about the animals in Desert Scrub. Hopefully I can get some video of some animals, too. Okay, kids, uh, I'll talk to you later. That's Mr. Bear signing off.